Retro gaming is not only great fun, but is a fantastic source of ideas for our own programming projects. In this video, I'll show you how to turn your PC into a BBC Micro, one of the classic 1980s home computers. And then we'll see how we can download and play almost every game ever written for the system totally for free. So let's play some games. Hi, and welcome to Bytes and Bits. Turning your computer into a different sort of computer is actually very straightforward if we use something called an emulator. So in this video, we're going to look at using an emulator for a BBC Micro. So let's get straight into it and see exactly what that's going to do for us. So I already have a BBC emulator installed and I'm using this BeebM version, which is a really good um, emulator. So if I open that up, instantly you can see we are straight into a BBC Micro. And I can do anything I would do on a normal BBC Micro on here. So I could type in a normal for loop. I now have a little program typed into my computer. I can run that and I get my things out there. I can list that program. And then more importantly, I can actually download game files from the internet and I can run them. So let's go there and let's run a disk. And let's find one here and let's play um, something called Meteors, which is a BBC Micro version of the Asteroids game. So we come in here and you can see now, we are now playing a BBC Micro game on our emulator. So, let's have a look at how we can then install this BBC Micro emulator on your computer. To install BeebM, we simply go to the BeebM website. So opening up my browser and typing in the web address for BeebM, and that takes us to this download page. And really, we can simply get, if, if we're on a Windows machine, we can simply download this version here. And I'm gonna save that into my downloads folder. And then once it's downloaded, all I have to do is run that. And that will go through and now install BBM on my computer. And there we have BBM installed, and if I click on finish, that launches now into my BBC Micro. If you're using a different computer, then if you scroll down a bit on the screen, you'll find that there are versions here for Apple Mac and Linux and a few others, and simply follow through the instructions on those various versions to install it onto your machine. On the PC, when BBAN installs, sometimes you'll find that the icon for the shortcut isn't, isn't quite right. So if I click on that with my right mouse button, I can then go to Properties and Change Icon and select the BBAN icon from the list in there. And if I click on OK for that and apply it, we should now find that the icon has changed. Now that we've got the emulator running on our computer, we need to get hold of some games. So the best place to go is to the BBC archive at stairwaytohell.com. Uh, it's a strange name for it, but that's, that's what they called it. So if we go there, you'll find there is a notice that the archive of games has moved, but all of the links on the side of the uh, menu here still work. So if we go to the BBC micro section, you can see that we can then come into our disk images area and we can then look at them sort of say by file name. And here we have a list of all the BBC Micro games, pretty much that were ever written. And we can simply then find one that we want to, to download. Um, so let's go for um, our, our Arcadians here, which is the BBC Micro version of um, um, Galaxians. And we simply clip on, click on the link and that will let us download a file. So if I download this into my downloads area, 
What I then need to do is I need to um, open that file and inside that file I will find that there is a little arcadians.ssd file and that's the one that I need to be able to run inside my BBEM. So if I simply click and drag that onto my desktop just to make it easy, I can now close this down, I can start up my BBEM and I can say file run disk and then from my desktop I should be able from my desktop I should be able to find my Arcadians disk run that and I'm now running Arcadians if we run up that we should now have a working game and there we go and we have now our Aconsoft Arcadians running on our emulated BBC Micro. So you've really now got the ability to, um, if I just close this, to come along here and really pick up any game that you want to have a go with. And believe me, there are lots of really good games inside the BBC Micro, and plenty of those will give you really good ideas for your own programming projects. So if you followed something like my Space Invaders course, which uses the Tick80 programming system, you should be able to piece this all together. And again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say try and exactly copy what you see in here, but use these games as a, a prompt for you to build your own version of that particular game. And I say, if, if you use something like Tick80, you should be able to piece that together um, without, without too much trouble. Um, it'll be a nice challenge, um, but you should be able to do it. So that gets you a local copy of BBM installed on your computer. And there are a number of advantages in installing it actually on your computer. And again, we'll, we'll cover those in later videos when we need to access those special features. But if you um, want to just really have a look at some games on the BBC, there is a much easier way of doing that. And that is through one of the online emulators. So if you do a Google search for JS Beeb, you'll find there is a JavaScript BBC Micro emulator which runs inside your browser. So if we go there, we'll find that we come up here and we now have, in effect, BBEM running inside our browser. And this version also has the advantage of being directly connected up to that Stairway to Hell archive. So we can simply click on Disks and we can say load a disk from the Stairway to Hell archive and simply come through here and find the one we want. Again, um, we can then try again for our Arcadians. And there we have our Acornsoft Arcadians. I can click on that. And if I then boot that disk by holding down my Shift key and pressing F12, and we're back into our Arcadians um, game again. So, this lets you then very quickly just go and try some games out. The only real downside to this is there's less flexibility on how it runs on your on the on the system. So you're very much it will run inside the browser, and um, that's how it goes. And it also then doesn't let you access any um, game controllers and joysticks you have attached to your computer, which can be very useful in certain games such as Elite and so on. But it does mean that you can very quickly get in, get a BBC up and running, and play some of these really good games. I mentioned earlier that one of the really good things for these games are that they give you really good ideas for your own programming projects. And to show you what I mean, I'll show you a project I put together um, a while back. Um, so if I go into the disks on this JSB archive and look in the STH archive, if I look for... Uh, Starship Commander. So we have Starship Command here. If I load that in, and again then do my Shift F12 to start that up. We have one of my favourite games from when I actually did own a BBC back in the 1980s. And this is a Starship Command game, where if I come into it, and we go to there, we have a game where we can fly our spaceship around and you can see there that our world rotates around our ship and I have a little scanner 
in the top right hand corner and as we come in we'll see that eventually we will come across some alien ships which are coming in here and we can start shooting them and so on. So this is a game which I used as a base for my own version. So let's come across and see if we can see that. Let me just come out of this and come across to my, our, our, my Bytes and Bits website. And I have one called Star Command in here. And this is programmed using, um, well, Pico 8 initially for this one. Um, again, I'll be re reprogramming this in Tick 80 as one of my courses. So depending on when you listen to this video, um, it will either be about to happen or will already be on the website. But if we press Z to play that, let me just click in here and play this game, you'll see that we have our similar sort of idea. So I can use my keys to sort of move around. And again, I can fire my bullets. And again, we have our aliens coming in, and there they are firing at us. And again, this game was really good in that it showed, it allowed me to develop some programming skills in looking at world coordinates. So you can see here that the world is revolving around the ship, and all the stars and everything are involved in that. We have lots of particle effects, so our explosions are a lot more impressive um, with all of these, um, what, do you, what do you call them, particle effects. The alien ships themselves have got some AI built into them, so you'll see them coming in, firing the missiles, then running away. And we also then have things like guided missiles and so on. So lots and lots of great fun in programming and developing the game. And again, all based on that more simple BBC Micro game uh, from the 1980s. So please do make sure you go and have a play with some of these. Investigate some of the games, have a think about how you could reprogram them yourselves, and really just have fun enjoying some of our retro computing. So, that's enough for this video today, and um, I'll see you soon. For more games programming, electronics projects, and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and visit my website.